Well, there's a bit of an odd trash pick. Uh, this is an extremely fresh uh, Asus laptop, which isn't even that old. It has some kind of i5 in it, uh, which uh, came out of a trash, of course, and uh, it's entirely dead. Uh, it's not responding to a power button, no LEDs, no lights, no sound, no nothing. It does draw a bit of power, just a couple of watts when you plug it in, but uh, beyond that it seems to be dead. Uh, I've got no idea what might be wrong with it. It certainly doesn't seem to have been uh, subjected to any liquid damage or uh, mechanical damage either. Uh, it was out in the rain, so there's a bit of uh, crap on the lid, but it was lying like this, so it should have got gotten uh, uh, pretty cleanly out of it. And it just looks like an incredibly fresh machine, which uh, yeah, almost looks... Uh, like it was brand new out of a box, to be honest. A uh, bit of wear and tear, that. Bit of wear and tear. But, yeah, I'm going to rip this thing apart and see if we can figure out what's causing this puppy to be sick. And if you're curious as to the particulars of a machine, it is to be an Asus uh, Model A55V. What's that? Uh, say in the second row, K55VD. And uh, made in 2012 with uh, two years of warranty, so this thing's yeah, four years old, quite a fair a time out of warranty, surprising though for how good it looks. Alright, this almost has to be a DOA because that fan is absolutely spotless, that's got good bearings, there, there's not a trace of dust on there, and noise there anywhere on the board, uh, not even uh, uh, underneath the, uh, uh, on the top cover, there's just nothing. This thing looks absolutely brand new. Wow, this is probably the freshest laptop I've ever worked on. Alright, so, uh, I just uh, took out the uh, CMOS battery and put it back in. And uh, now the symptom has changed dr drastically on the computer. Uh, it no longer draws its power. It uh, drew a bit of a peak for a second after I plugged it in. And uh, now it's sitting at what this uh, adapter usually gives you when it, uh, it's just pairing a normal computer that's off. So, uh, fingers crossed. Crossed still. Let's see if this works. Oh, we've got LEDs. That's a step forward. Drawing 27 watts. Is it going to do anything? That certainly is a big step up for, big step forward though. Seems we still have no picture on the screen though. So it might want me to plug in some more stuff there, but that's a big step forward. Now we've no, we we don't have a short of input or anything like that. Now we can start probing around a bit more. Ha! <laughs> All right, let's see if it'll do this trick again. On twin yep, there we go. Uh, all I did was I replaced the RAM. <laughs> I there were a couple of mismatched modules in it. And what's this? A two gigabytes a PC three twelve eight hundred and uh, one Kingston module four gigabytes PC three eight twelve eight hundred. So it had uh, six gigs of RAM in it, and uh, well, clearly something about that was preventing it from booting. <laughs> Well, that's the easiest laptop fix ever. Wow. From absolute loss to seemingly perfect operation. Now, well, let's just see what happens if we uh, pop these uh, old modules back in. Uh, I'm betting that it's going to run fine with that one, uh, but it won't turn on with this one alone or both of them, depending on what's wrong. Probably just refuses to work with both of them. Alright, I uh, cleaned the uh, modules up and put them back, so let's see if it'll all boot with both modules. Back to drawing twin... What? Oh, there we go. Now we've got both modules. Yeah, 6 gigabytes installed. Wow, this screen is not turning up well on the camera. <laughs> okay. Well, that's that's certainly not bad. 
uh, Intel Core i5, 3210, 2.5 GHz, I've got no idea about what uh, kind of processor that is, probably uh, reasonably quick. Graphics, do we have any? Yeah, it's probably just got the uh, internal graphics of a processor, but uh, I mean, is it going to be like second generation i5? That's that's not too bad, I think. Way can lid open. Ah, we've got everything in here. Oh, this is. <laughs> oh, that's just silly. That is so silly. So, ah. <laughs> I mean, this seems to be a brand new laptop. What on earth? I've ever fan started, so that's not the issue. I just reseated the memory and reseated the uh, CMOS battery. I've got to test this thing out more. There's got to be. I mean, the issue was it was an entirely dead board. It wouldn't start at all. So, for all I know, it might have been discarded for those issues. And I mean, to get to the uh, actual BIOS battery, you have to take the entire thing apart. So. I can see why somebody would just uh, not uh, uh, suspect that issue. Yeah, I've got to test it further. Well, I just popped the hard drive in it and... Yeah, this computer's never been turned on before. I mean, I... Yeah, I've got... I'm, I'm gonna check the smart data on this drive. Because, I mean, who does a factory reset to this stage? I mean, yeah, smart data. Well, we can be quite certain that it's the original ship with a computer Windows install, at least. Jesus Christ, what is all this crap? Get out of my face. Asus Web Storage Sync. Asus Instant On. What else do we have? Oh, God. So we've got some NVIDIA stuff. Asus USB Charger Plus. Asus Live Update. Flix, okay. Uh, yeah, Intel HD graphics, Realtek, yeah, Elan, these are horrible touchpads. Uh, is that McAfee? Tell me what you are. Tell me your name. Yep, McAfee Internet Security, that's probably that thing you get with Flash Player. Wireless console, free Bluetooth, yeah. So it's pretty full of crap. Let's just uh, get on my network and find some software. Yeah, and there we have it. Power on hours, four. And a few start-stop counts, they've been trying to turn it on and off. So, yep, oh, that's it. This is a brand new computer, dead, uh, dead on arrival, it seems. And it never worked. Then somebody stole it away and forgot about it for a few years. And then they threw it in the trash. Uh, it does seem that uh, the hard drive is a bit dodgy. It's making all kinds of weird noises. Making horrible little clicky type sounds, so... Yeah, I don't trust it, but if I'm going to use this thing, it's going to be an SSD in there anyway, so I don't quite care, but yeah. It's making bad sound for a hard drive, which could just be horribly out of cal since it hasn't been used or something, I don't know. I'm going to just scan on it or something. But, yeah, for all intents and purposes, this computer seems to be working just fine free laptop. So what do we actually have for, for features? We've got uh, VGA, HDMI, uh, one of those dicky Ethernet opening things, two USB 3 ports on that side, one USB 2 port on that side, audio out, uh, battery goes there, nothing there, have a moment, and yeah, the 3210M processor and 6 gigs of RAM. And the seemingly broken 500 gigabit hard drive, so well, that's not too shabby. And it does have one of these stupid touchpads where they just made everything into a giant button, which is. Ah. You know, let's see if it's. Uh, it's actually doing relatively well. That it, it tried to do some zoomy thing when I was like clicking with a physical button and using the finger at the same time, so. Uh, I'm not a fan of these, not at all. Nor am I a fan of these, this type of, what's it, a chiclet keyboard. Yuck. Generally, newer laptops do not appeal to me in the slightest, but hey, this one's free. Oh, it's got a webcam as well. Always oh, handy. Not horribly glossy. 
some texture there. Yeah. I had time for reset to 2009, of course. Yeah, can we get like the original install date of this thing? CMD. The screen is quite atrocious as well as uh, you can actually tell better than I. Uh, system info. Let's see what we get. So what we have. Original install date, oh, January 1st, 2009, so it went by uh, the today's date according to the computer. Right here, right here. Well, I guess there's not uh, any more advanced troubleshooting to uh, put into this computer, it just seems to be working just fine. What an awkward video, I was expecting to be doing some nice uh, uh, Louis Rossman type uh, advanced troubleshooting on this machine, but clearly that won't be necessary. So, uh, thank you for watching. Oh, well, just look at all the crap you get for this thing. Let's see what we don't need here. Uh, Microsoft Windows Operating System, what on earth is that? What the hell, I've never seen that before. Windows Sidebar, okay, yeah, we don't need that, thank you. We don't need Adobe Acrobat to auto start. And we don't need Adobe Acrobat again. We don't need whatever APRP might be. What's, what's the command for that? Uh, nothing obvious. Oh. Asus Web Storage? Nope. McAfee Security Center? Nope. Intel USB 3? Yeah, probably need that. AT Cos D2? What? Is that that odd ATK? It could be that odd ACPI thing that Asus do, so fine. No. AT Let's just get rid of all these. AC Mon Wireless Console 3, Asus Screen Saver Protector, Cyberlink Media Library Service, Asus Vibe Application. No, goodbye. We do not need these. I'm gonna nuke this install anyway, but all this crap starting up, it, I mean, it, it literally takes three minutes for this brand new computer to boot up, what the hell? Do normal people actually deal with this? Jeez. Oh god, this is even worse. Asus AO Recovery, Asus Face Logon, Asus Instant Connects, Asus Power 4 Gear Hybrid, Asus Splendid Video Enhancement Technology, Asus Vibe 2.0, Bing Bar Bubble Town, Cyberlink Label Print, Cyberlink Media Suit, Dead Time Stories, Dream Day First Home, Dream Vacation Solitaire, Farm Frenzy 3, Galapago, are these like smartphone games? A Google Chrome as well, Go Go Gourmet Chef of the Year, uh, Intel Intel McAfee, Mahjong Memoirs, Oh, we do get Office 2010, probably a demo. My Bitcast 1003. Plants vs. Zombies, yeah, these are smartphone games. Scene Switch Turbo Fiesta, well, that's counterintuitive, isn't it? Uh, Windows Live Essentials, WinFlash, Wireless Console, free. Didn't we get that already? And World of Goo. And oh, what on earth? I probably don't even have this many entries in my computer that's been installed for years. W Jesus. Hey, it's time to upgrade. And you can't have a new computer without peeling the stickers off. Oh, that feels so good. Yeah. Hey, I guess it does have. An NVIDIA graphics card, an NVIDIA GeForce 610M, 2 gigabytes. okay. Yeah. Perfect.